Hi there, my name is Taylor Hines and I'm presenting on behalf of the American Football League or the AFL. Currently the AFL is interested in identifying greater revenue generating resources for the AFL as a whole. It is my belief that further utilizing our corporate sponsorship categories within our contract will not only help us create immediate revenue generating resources, but also help us identify a long-term strategy in order to keep a continual revenue revenue generating flow. Now, I understand that a corporate sponsorship is not necessarily a novel idea. However, it's something that we have vastly underutilized in our in the history of the AFL, considering that we only have four current corporate sponsorships: Rydell, CBS Sports. I'm sorry, Rydell, CBS Sports. Um, Spalding and New Era. So what it means to, what I believe can happen if we choose the right company, the company that I chose being LifeAid, and I'll present more on that in a moment, um, I believe that LifeAid can possibly take up at least one, if not two different corporate sponsorship strategy uh, categories. Now, LifeAid as a product, as a quick rundown, they are a company that created a recovery drink for elite level athletes. Similar in, in idea to the Gatorade drink, right, or a protein shake. However, what LifeAid offers is a nutrient dense, antioxidant dense, natural energy, high energy compound resource for athletes to drink immediately post-exercise. In a game like the AFL, which is a very fast-paced game, they have uh, fewer athletes on the field, on a big field, um, with very few stops or uh, foul games, or I'm sorry, foul calls, these athletes need to be able to recover quickly in between plays and get right back into the game. Not only does this product make sense for our athlete population, but also the LifeAid product, this recovery tool, makes sense for the fan bases of the AFL, which demographically speaking, they 70% of the AFL categorizes themselves as a lightly active group. Now, LifeAid as a company, they consider that they, they consider their fan base or their demographic background. Um, they appeal to what they call um, civilian athletes, right? Not, now, that doesn't mean that they have, they have elite level athletes that request their product and they, tra they have a, sp a promotional sponsorship deal set up with several international Olympic athletes. Um, USA a weightlifting, the USA weightlifting team is uh, sponsored by LifeAid, but then also um, athletes like in the CrossFit Games, right? So not only does LifeAid operate within a pool of civilian athletes, right? But they also currently sponsor very, very high level elite level athletes. Those are athletes that could also be the AFL as well. So merging those two companies makes sense from a de demographic portion as well. Okay. Now a corporate sponsorship with LifeAid, what does that give us? The AFL can benefit because it gen this sponsorship can generate revenue, clarify the AFL brand, capitalize on a current fitness trend, and mobilize the, a new audience. Meaning the life aid demographic background. One of the things now in blending the our identity with the AFL, or at least through a corporate sponsorship, um, life aid and the AFL. I believe one of the trades that we could give the life aid company is the use of a composite logo. Example that I drew up here for them. All right. How I believe that this brand, how I believe that this merger can go down, the AFL would have to um, go into some sort of, uh, the AFL would have to open up some sort of a negotiation strategy. But I believe that if LifeAid pays $750,000 yearly, which is cheap comparatively, $750,000 yearly for a composite logo, they get the composite logo, the naming rights, broadcasting rights, category exclusivity, in arena advertising. Um, they get then that in addition to the category exclusivity of at least the official sponsor, beverage sponsor of the AFL. They could also potentially argue for a nutritional supplement of the AFL as well. Additionally, the AFL receives 60% of the profits from the promotional campaigns through social media that 
life aid host this is beneficial to us because on a separate note life aid is currently the number one no, most popular um, fitness drink on Instagram right now they have a life aid as a company has over 50,000 followers one post from life aid mer announcing their merger with um, the AFL can help us the AFL like access a population that we didn't have uh, we didn't have in hand before <clears throat> so a social media campaign on Instagram through LifeAid advertising AFL announcements could be huge for us. Additionally, LifeAid signs a three-year contract where that is renewable at the end, but for the AFL, that means a continual three-year resource of $750,000 per year just from that contract. That's excluding 60% of the profits that they get from any sort of marketing campaigns. Now. Uh, in addition, the AFL also receives value in kind from LifeAid. In return, we help promote LifeAid to, and we give them access to all of our our, our current fan bases, um, all of the activation strategies that we give them. Um, additionally, LifeAid activates; they can let activate their promotional campaigns in our retail stores like Whole Foods, Kroger, Jewel Osco. Um, and the AFL can, will agree to allow Life Aid the use of their name and likeness of AFL logos and team logos in their retail store activation. And additionally, the AFL can offer two activation promotions that have been proven successful in the past. One being fans bringing a ticket to stub, two participating retail partners for a discount on Life Aid products, and then two, the opportunity for customers to, consumers to win AFL ticket vouchers with the purchase of a Life Aid product. Ultimately, I believe this is a win-win for both companies. Merging the AFL brand with the LifeAid brand, again, not only secures a and more immediate, uh, I'm sorry, a more immediate long-term, I'm sorry, more immediate um, renewable three-year resource of $750,000 for two beverage, uh, I'm sorry, for two, at least one corporate sponsorship category. Mm. But then also it opens up the opportunity for long-term and long-term development of greater fan base, which means more ticket sales. Um, <clears throat> additionally, it increases the brand awareness and pushes the AFL into a level of elite level athlete status, which I believe that the AFL currently operates at, but the social perception is not there. Um, Increasing the brand awareness of both companies, I believe, has helped push both companies into that elite level athlete status. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.